Do you have the media offline error when playing back videos you recorded on HD0 and DaVinci Resolve? This video is going to show you how to fix it. So the short answer is uh, just don't record in .mov. It has issues. Instead, just record in uh, .ts file format, and then I'll show you a very quick and easy way to convert the .ts to MP4 that DaVinci Resolve will open with no problem, and it takes zero CPU to do this because it's not actually transcoding the file. So we're going to download a free tool called Axiom. This is a wrapper around FFmpeg, which is a video transcoding uh, open source project. We want the one that has the user interface plus FFmpeg. So download that here. You do need a way to unzip FFmpeg to use this, or unzip 7-zip to use this. So let's open this up in 7-zip. Uh, you can download 7-zip from the Windows Store or wherever. So let's extract all of this and put it in a subfolder called Axiom. Okay. Close this. Here's Axiom. Run axiom.exe. Okay. Input. Pick a file. It's a TS file. Set the container to MP4. Video. Copy. We're not going to do any transcoding. Audio. I like to do copy or none. None in this case because the audio is just noise anyway. Okay. So at this point, we can just click convert. It's going to run a little batch script here, or a little command line, and it's done already. It doesn't do any work other than copying the file from one container to another container. There's no transcoding happening here. So if I go back to the folder here, I uh, had an input of 1003.ts and an output of 1003.mp4. So here is uh, 1003.mp4 and run it. There it is. And that fixes the media offline issue. I recommend saving this as a preset. Just say like uh, ts mp4 save and now this automatically uh, will convert to mp4 when you pick that preset. Another thing that is helpful is we can click batch then we can put in uh, .ts go up to input this time we're going to pick a folder this uh, where the file is located you can browse through it this way or I get a little lazy and I just do this copy that, paste it. Okay, convert. So that just converted the whole folder. Let's take a look at the result. So now we have mp4, mp4. Okay, let's take this new converted file and put it back in Resolve and see if it worked. I mean, of course it worked. And uh, it kind of resolves the issue. Uh, there's issues with MOV file format. I don't recommend using it. Um, TS is more stable and auto, auto record and um, powering the unit off without stopping the recording all just works. Also, I just lately I just use my phone to edit things, I don't even bother with the PC. Um, so there's free apps on your phone like uh, UCut. UCut. I could put a link in the description that make um, putting up videos really easily easy. But wait, there's more. What if you don't want to use a video editor? You just want to trim the beginning and the end and upscale to 1440p so that it can be uploaded to YouTube without YouTube completely crushing it in quality. So. 
that's not too bad to do either in Axiom. Uh, we can specify a start and end time here, and that'll trim the file. Uh, to do the upscaling, instead of copy, we've got to pick x264, go to size, and then pick 1440p. I don't recommend going any higher than 1440p. We just want to trick the YouTube algorithm into using a good codec, which it only does if you have 1440p or higher. Okay, so go to the encoding tab on video. Uh, this is where it gets interesting. If you don't specify anything here, it's going to do a software encode. It'll be a little bit slow, but it'll get the job done. Um, so I'm going to quick do that here. So let's say cut, yes, start at 10 seconds, and end at uh, 30 seconds. Okay. Convert. So there it goes. Okay, and it's done. Let's take a look at the result. It's this MP4 file here. And let's take a look at the file information. 2560 by 1440. Okay. All right, and if you wanna save some time, you can turn on hardware acceleration, okay? Decode, uh, that's probably fine, but transcode you definitely want to set. So if you have an NVIDIA encoder, uh, an NVIDIA GPU, pick uh, NVENC. If you have an Intel CPU that's a little bit newer, you can use Intel Quick Sync Video, that's called QSV. Those will massively speed up encoding if you are choosing to do encoding. Remember, you don't have to do encoding. Um, there is a simple copy operation that I showed earlier. So Quality auto uh, to pass. I think these defaults are going to maybe not be so good looking. Let's just try it. And it's complete. Let's take a look at the result. I believe this is it here. Let's take a look at the file size. So 2560 by 1440, uh, completed with the hardware encoder. So continuing on with basically not using a video editor, but still getting a good video upload. I've uploaded this cl clipped that I've up 1440p, uh, just using Axiom. And then uh, we'll go to editor on YouTube. And you can further trim it from here. So we can just add in some music. Uh, just pick this one here. And that's it. You have an edited video with music. All without really using a video editor. And uh, that's going to give you the highest quality video on YouTube by uploading at 1440p, not using any video editor. Hope that helps.